I believe that from the amateurs that he was going to be a world champion. As well as having a thoughtful, analytical approach in the ring, one of Chaz's big strengths is his fitness. With a background running track and playing basketball, he prides himself on being one of the most mobile heavyweights in the world. His life as a boxer is combined with raising a young family. He lives at home with his mother and father, his girlfriend and their son, King. With a family name famous in the boxing world, Will Chaz be encouraging his son to take up the sport in the future? If it's up to me, I will not allow him to box at all, you know. Um, I'll do everything in my power to stop him from boxing, you know. The fact that I'm boxing and I'm taking the chances and the risk, because it's a risk of brain damage that comes along with boxing. And, you know, I do not want my son to risk that, but uh, boxing will be off limits. I'll teach him how to defend himself, you know, he'll know how to hold his hands and go through the motion, he can hit the bag, but as far as climbing through the ropes and, and competing, that's not going to happen. Chaz Witherspoon is hoping that in the next two years, he can stay undefeated and earn a shot at one of the world titles. His big goal is to unify the belts and bring some class into boxing's most prestigious weight division. I would like people to know and see and remember me as a person that always came up and gave it 110%, always showed up and was respectful, um, um, someone who was just a generally nice person, a good individual, and didn't let uh, fame or money or anything like that change him or taint his views and turn him into an um, a immoral person. You know, so just I, I want to be remembered as a, a generally good individual, a good human being, and a competitor. Soccer's self-proclaimed special one, Jose Mourinho, becomes even more significant in May when he coaches Chelsea to their first European Champions League title. In Sheffield, England, Ronnie O'Sullivan gets his career back on track with his third victory at the Snooker World Championships. O'Sullivan regains his crown with a narrow victory over holder Graham Dodd from Scotland. Luol Deng has a spectacular June 2007. The six foot seven inch forward brings the glory days back to Chi Town when he leads the Chicago Bulls to a memorable victory in the NBA Finals. Also in June, our crystal ball predicts that Roger Federer will win his first singles title at Roland Garros. The Swiss master triumphs in a five-setter with clay court specialist Rafael Nadal to take the French Open crown. These men are professional athletes. They earn a good salary and their games are shown on television. However, they can walk through the streets of Berlin largely unnoticed. No autograph hunters and no screaming fans on their heels. They are members of Fuchse Berlin, the German capital's top handball team. Unlike in other German cities, handball in Berlin has an image problem and struggles for the limelight alongside football, basketball and even American football. Later this month, Germany will host the Handball World